Okay, half value layer. Um, also designated HBL, you see it both ways, half value layer. It's the layer of material that's required to attenuate an X-ray beam by half of its intensity. Um, so if we use the exponential attenuation equation, I over I naught is I equals I naught e to the minus mu x. So when x is equal to the half value layer, and when x is equal to half value layer, I over I naught is equal to 0 0.5. So I can take these two things and plug them in. 0 0.5 is equal to e to the minus mu half value layer times half value layer HVL. Um, if I want to pull this down and that's a multiply signal right there. If I want to pull these both down, do natural log of both sides. 0 0.5 equals natural log e to the minus mu HVL. Um, natural log of minus 0.5. Calculate that out really quickly. Here's the natural log button, 0. 0.5 equals minus 0. 0.693 is equal to, remember the logarithm is the exponent, so this is going to be minus mu HVL. These two minus signs cancel out. Pull the mu over here and I get HVL. HVL is equal to 0. 0.69. 0. Oh, I did that twice. 0. 0.693 divided by mu. Remember, mu has units of 1 over length. Um, and then I have this example, so we can figure out what is the HVL of lead, half-value layer of lead, for iridium-192 source. And for this um, example, I picked one X-ray energy of iridium-192, and I found out that mu, I looked it up on the internet, I found out that mu was equal to um, 1.8 per centimeters for the particular energy I picked out. I picked out one that was about 380. Um, the energy of that x-ray was about 380 keV. So the attenuation of a 380 keV x-ray is right around 1.8 per centimeter for lead. So if I just plug it into this formula, I know that the half value layer of this is 0 0.693 divided by 1.8 per centimeter. Get my calculator out again, 0 0.693 divided by 1.8 equals 0 0.385, 0 0.385. This is 1 over centimeters on the bottom, so when it comes back up on the top, it goes to centimeters. So if I want to attenuate some iridium-192 by half, I need to put 0.385 centimeters of lead in there. It's probably easier to think of it this way, 3.5 uh, millimeters of lead to attenuate an iridium-192 source. Um, if you go on the Internet, you'll find out that the Internet will tell you that the HBL of iridium-192 is actually 4.8 millimeters of lead. Um, and this calculation takes into account the entire x-ray spectrum that comes out of iridium-192. What I did here was just pick off a single x-ray. So this is the actual value, but this is how you would calculate the HBL.